Okay guys, so we're doing a little bit more work to the Gizmachi here. And what we did was we lined everything up here. So they're all in a straight line right here. And there's the boom. And we are gonna add, we're gonna add a few two or three more booster kits onto it. So as it sits now, it's like 20 something feet. And uh, we're gonna add some more booster kits. So, and I'll be working on, I just haven't had the time. I have an online business that I work on now. So that pretty much takes a lot of my time. But we'll have the bottom radials on it, like down here. See the bottom horizontal side down there. And this is the back, the reflector side of it. And then I'll show you the, all the elements we had measured out. Okay, so we had right there, we had 109 inches. 105 100 so if you buy it as a three element those are your three sizes right there it goes down to 100 then it goes then it only drops down an inch according to the manufacturer so we're going to follow that so it goes to 99 98 and then i'll put a couple more boosters on it so it'll be 97 96 and so on if you go up to an eight element it'd be 95 naturally so it's friday afternoon and i really uh can't do too much more today because i have some online work to do but we're supposedly supposed to get it up very soon possibly sunday we have to pour some concrete because we're putting that tilt over in and uh the yezu rotor and everything and if i have some time i'll post uh the calibration for the yezu rotor later on this afternoon and the uh, Yezu 450 Road is a little bit different than the 800 or the 1000. The 800 1000, the bigger ones have the removable bezel, so you can move the needle or whatever. And I'll show you guys when I do that video. But the 450 doesn't have that removable bezel to move your uh, position needle. So basically, you just uh, we'll show you in the next video for the rotor. Basically, you just use a screwdriver to unscrew where the needle is, the position for the rotor. So, and we're going to put the gamma matches, and I'll cover that for you guys, the gamma matches and everything, show you how to set all that up. I'll also show you the MFJ antenna analyzer and how I set my beams up. And it's been a while since I did one of these, but this is a real simple design, and I think it's going to talk really good. And uh, see if we get a little better. A little better look at it. And there they are. Give you a little bit better look on how straight they are. I don't see any of them sticking out. So that should work. And we'll just do final adjustments. Another thing I'm going to do is where the boom connects here. I'm going to drill this out. And I might put something through there. Or I might just put cheap metal screws in it. We'll see. I think it would be a, bit, a little bit better to put a bolt through it. But uh, that's just my take on it. You guys can modify them however you like. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. So we'll say 73s for now. And I hope you got a pretty good look at it. And I'll follow up with it. Like I said, it's Friday. We'll follow up tomorrow and uh hopefully sunday we'll get it up in the air and get all the coax on it and the rotor and calibrate everything and dial in the swr i'm going to try and get as low as i possibly can all right guys 73s triple five tampa bay gone see ya